The wage from folly could not give me freedom, it does from childishness. Can Fulvia die? She's dead, my queen. Look you, at your sovereign leisure read, at the gargoyles she waked, at the last best. See where and when she died. Oh, most false love! Where are the sacred vials that thou shouldst fill with sorrowful water? Now I see, I see in Fulvia's death how mine received shall be. This is preposterous! He's, he's blocking me, Richard! How often do we have to do these? Every 30 minutes. Do you think this is a good idea, Richard? It's unconventional. But Boothberger is offering us just what we need to keep afloat. 30 pieces of silver, that's what they're offering, and I'm not gonna take it! Leonard! Leonard! Presence needs must puzzle Antony. Take from his heart, from his brain, from his time. What should not then be spared? He is already traduced for levity. And tis said in Rome that Fortinus, a eunuch, and your maids manage this war. All right, all right, calm down, calm down, everybody. I know it was difficult out there tonight. It was a real challenge. But the important thing is that you all rose to the occasion. I mean, you pulled it off. But, but Richard, and, I mean, we're defiling everything that Shakespeare would want. But listen, but I, I agree with you. We shouldn't be doing it. We're a respectable theater company. We're going to go Richard, back. Richard. What? Sorry to interrupt, guys. But we are sold out for tomorrow night. Oh, what? what? Oh, yeah. With yeah. the ads? Yeah. Audience just lined up at the box office, and they're buying tickets for next weekend as well. Often you did bid me steal. Has stolen it from her? No, Faith. She let it drop by negligence, and to the advantage I, being here, took it up. Look, here it is. A good wench! Give it me. Way away, you trifler. Love? I love thee not. I care not for thee. Kate, this is no world to play with manners or to tilt with lips. We must have bloody noses and crack crowns and pass them current too. God me my horse! Who's high upreared and abutting front, the perilous narrow ocean parts asunder. Peace out our imperfections with your thoughts. Into a thousand parts divide one man and make imaginary puissance. More needs she the divine than the physician. God. God forgive us all. The Shakespearean performances are second to none, but it's Boothburger that truly delivers. The overlay advertisements steal the show scene after scene. Whether it's the quirky waiter or the sexy cardboard cutout, you'll leave craving a juicy double bacon Boothburger combo. The type of show you will enjoy the first time and have you rushing back for seconds and even thirds. Tickets available through the theater uh, box office. Boothburger wants more ads. More ads, Richard? We're already running back and forth like crazy! They're wondering if we can run ads through the entire length of the show. You gotta be kidding me, Rich. No, no, wait. As a result, it means you'd either be in the overlay or in the Shakespeare. There's no more running back and forth. I'm gonna hold auditions for the overlay ads, and you guys can go back to just being in the Shakespeare. Hey, I'm sorry, I thought I told you. The Boothburger auditions are today. Richard III is tomorrow. Oh, we know. Yeah. We know. Well, what are you doing here? If none of you want to do Shakespeare, I'll just have to give it to the newcomers.
I can't believe it. All right. Danny, send in the first one. And, and let everyone out there know that they are now reading for Richard III. See you guys tomorrow. Uh, Richard. Yeah, send them in. Uh, they left. What? All of them? They said they'll be back tomorrow for the Booth Burger auditions. You would be performing Shakespeare and only Shakespeare. No, 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 no. I will not perform Richard III upstage of a woman dressed as a hamburger. That's a favor to me. Look, I'm happy for your success. But I'm sorry, nothing should be performed in front of Shakespeare. Now is the winter of our discontent made glorious summer by this son of York. And all the clouds that lowered over our family in the deep bosom of the ocean. Buried. Now are our brows bound with victorious wreaths, our bruised arms hung up for monuments, our stern alarms changed to merry meetings, our dreadful marches to delightful measure. Grim-visaged war hath smoothed his wrinkled front, and now, instead of mounting bearded steeds to fright the souls of fearful adversaries, he capers nimbly in a lady's chamber to the lascivious pleasings of a lilt. Richard? Danny. Opening night, huh? I still get goosebumps. I feel so good about this. I'm gonna give the guys a little... Richard! Pepper. I think we have a bit of a problem. Half the city got sick from eating booth burgers? E. coli. It's all over the news. Everyone that was going to be at our show tonight is sick. Or they didn't feel like seeing a show about Booth Burgers. They're going to get sued. We're going to get sued. Danny, do you have the time? Five minutes till late. Places, everyone.